welcome back to my channel. Today I have something a little bit different to talk to you about. My channel's usually about, sorry. My channel's usually about tattoos, hair, fashion, I don't know. But today I do have a kind of important video for you. This video is all about vaginas. More specifically, my vagina, my nuni. My foo foo. So this video is about my nuni. So in the UK, if you are aged between 25 and 49, you will get a smear test letter every three years from your GP. I just want to encourage every single freaking, every single lady out there, go and get your smear tests done. I've been having, not smear tests, I've been having like inspections <laughs> for many, many years because I have PCOS and I have endometriosis. I've given birth and when I gave birth, I was completely naked. My mum was there and I was just, like, I'm sorry I'm naked mum. <laughs> I don't know why I was so embarrassed. I think that's it. I think I was just embarrassed to get one done. So I got my smear test letter and I put it off for so long. So, so long. Stuck up my fridge with a magnet. And every time I walked past my fridge, it was that, oh, I've got to call them. Got to make an appointment. Got to do this. Got to do that. And I didn't do it. I didn't do it for so long. And then Ben eventually, my partner Ben, he eventually called the doctor for me and he was like, right, this is really important, baby. You need to, you need to do this. Eventually, after so much persuasion, I did go and get my smear test done. Now I feel like so freaking stupid that it took me so long to get it done because I was literally in and out. It took at most, at most, 10 minutes. My nurse was unbelievably lovely. She spoke me through everything. She told me exactly what she was gonna do, like when she was gonna do it. And then when it was done, she said, I will get a letter in about six weeks telling me hopefully that everything is okay. Uh, but if it's not okay, it will probably mean that she didn't collect enough cells and I just have to go back and have another one done. So I wasn't worried at all. I left feeling like really positive that Yay, I, I had done it, I'd done it, woo! So six weeks passed and I got my letter. Now when I got my letter, it was actually a hospital appointment saying that um, it was a follow up to my smear test, my cervical screening test, I think it's now called. Said they had found some cells that they need to double check. So I really wasn't worried because I kind of still thought, well maybe they didn't collect enough cells and all the ones they did get, maybe she collected like half a cell and they just need the other half to tell me that everything's okay. I had that appointment and it was pretty much exactly the same. I think it's called a coloscopy, the, the whole, um, the second appointment I had. Not a colonoscopy, because I Googled that and I was like, what? Why are they gonna caught my bum if, for my nuni, like, and I got really confused and realized I'd put an N in there. They put you in like these stirrup things, kind of like you're giving birth. I had a doctor the second time and she was so lovely. And um, she put the speculum in, opened it up and it didn't hurt. It was like mildly discomfortable, discomfort, is discomfortable? Is that the word? Mildly uncomfortable? Uncomfortable, <laughs> oh my God, like a little brain freezer. It was mildly uncomfortable. Um, and then she shone a light in it and Ben was giggling to himself <laughs> and then she put like oh my god my brain is frazzled today like magnifying glasses on so she could see inside my gigantic hollow vagina I was half expecting her to go echo and <laughs> um, so that one was really easy too it was pretty much exactly the same it's just she had a more like in-depth look and she took some more cells and Again, she said that everything looked good, it looked healthy, and I will be on my way. And then another six weeks passed, and I got another letter saying that at the last one, at the coloscopy I had, they found very irregular cells, um, and I need another appointment. And that appointment is this Monday, the Monday coming up right now. So, um, so that's what's kind of pushed me to make this video. Now the letter I got was really detailed. It came with like a booklet and everything and it really, it was really good. Like it really eased my mind, though I am still shitting myself. In my letter it said, they have not found cancer, but the cells that I have in my body could be pre-cancerous. So I have to go back to the hospital. I have to be 
I have to go under local anesthetic and I have to have those pre possible pre-cancer cells scraped out. Now that all sounds so painful and I'm really, really scared, but I have to woman up and do it. <sighs> but the reason I wanted to tell you this, um, all this story is because the amount of women in the UK that do not get their smear tests done, myself included, is very high. It's one, I googled it just before I filmed this, um, and I think it was one in three that put it off, or they don't do it. I was one of those people. My best friend is one of those people. Joe, if you're watching this, I say it all the time, do it. People put them off for the silliest reasons. For me, it was, I was embarrassed. Like, that, that was it. It did scare me, but mainly I was just, the idea of walking into a nurse's office getting naked from the bottom down and just being like, hello, it really, it really, it really scared me. I could not be more thankful that I did it. Like though my results are freaking terrifying and I'm scared shitless, this, this feeling is nowhere near as bad as it would be if I hadn't have got it done. And then in 10 years time, I went to the doctors with some stomach pain and they said, sorry, boo, you've got cancer. Though I am shitting myself right now, like, for this appointment it just really scares me it could be it could have been so so much fucking worse i messaged my best friend this morning and i said that i was going to be making this video and i i asked her why she hasn't gone for hers yet but i love her to pieces she put it's just inconvenient i understand where she's coming from that people make excuses i made excuses for such a long time um i was scared embarrassed i didn't have time I was working, I had Violet, I can't really, you can't really take kids with you. So I, I'm like the queen of excuses and I hate the doctors. I will do anything not to go to the doctors. This isn't me being a hypocrite, like huh, now I've done it, you're just crap because you haven't done it. It's me trying to not get you guys to be as stupid as I was. Yes, my results came back and they're not necessarily good, but if I hadn't have gone and got my smear test done, in a few years time I could be sitting here saying that hey i have cervical cancer that five ten minutes of discomfort and embarrassment it wasn't even that embarrassing that could have potentially saved my life please do not do not be embarrassed don't be embarrassed don't be ashamed my nurse was telling me she's seen so many nudies like it just she doesn't care she's just there to do her job she gets in she gets out i just really wanted to encourage you guys to go and get yours done. So I was stupid, I put mine off, and you know, I was smart in the end. The second appointment I had was exactly, was pretty much the same as the first one, and the third one that I have coming up, um, I'm gonna have local anesthetic, she's gonna scrape out the cells, which sounds fucking horrible, but it's gonna be so much better than possibly getting cancer. <laughs> if this can prevent it, then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna, I'm obviously gonna do it. But I just wanna say, after you've watched this video, please, if you don't, if you're over 25, it's 10 minutes that really, really, really could save your life. That's it guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Please share it with your female friends, tell them to go get checked. It's not as scary as I thought it would be. Even with the possibility, well, even with me having to have my vagina scraped, it's still not as scary as what it could have potentially been. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you. Stay weird. Get checked.